Alrighty, what's popping? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to get any Pokemon you want using PK Hex for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I'm gonna showcase you guys how to use this for both your emulator and also your custom firmware switch. It's pretty simple and easy. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, you're gonna head to projectpokemon.org, which I'll leave in the description down below for you guys to check that out. And then when we get to it, you know, basically get download this file. Now this is the recent update. So this is going to be compatible, obviously with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And then we're gonna open it up and you should have the exe file. Let me close this out real quick. Minimize this. And what we do here, we're gonna basically drag and drop the exe file right here. And then we're gonna close this up real quick. And then we're gonna open up PK Hex. Now this since this is my first time booting this up in a while. It was supposed to ask for me a agreement file, but I guess they don't have that anymore. So I was definitely expecting that. But anyways, enough with that. First things first, we're gonna start off with the emulator, which is the Yuzu emulator. And then how you find your save file, if you don't know, it's pretty simple and easy. Just left click, open this, save that location. You see your main, drag and drop it. And then close that out, minimize that real quick. Um, let's say, a Pokemon that I think, yeah, Diancy. And what we do is we give it level 100, give it whatever nature you want it, Just make it random. Make that random. Hell, I don't give it any hell on you want. Uh, weight height. I don't think that matters in the game due to the fact that is. I think it matters in Legends Arceus, if I'm not mistaken. You can give it max friendship, which I believe is two two five, and then make it shiny. Uh, you can put any Pokeball. It'd be funny. Put a Master Ball. Master Ball stats. You can randomize it. It's pretty neat. And they give it um, any type of Terra type. We give it a Fairy type. And you can override it, which is pretty interesting. Attacks. You now, for you to basically give it a random move set, you have to click on current moves. Yeah. Apparently, this is not a move it can run in game. It still gave me that sign. Let me change it up. All right, so seems move seems legal. And then OST, you can mess around with this a little bit if you want. Party, you can add it to your party. What I do here is put these Pokemon in the box real quick. Put Tianti there. And after that, Export your save, and then you basically override it. There's okay on that. Exit out of that, and then you're basically all good, set to go on the user side. For your custom firmware switch, um, you're gonna need something called JSKV. That's a um, basically a save backup. 
where you can get all your saves from previous um, Switch games, even Pokemon games, is really useful. Um, I'm not gonna showcase a tutorial how to use it. It's pretty simple and easy. And I made a Chico video explaining how you set it up. Pretty simple and easy. And then I'm gonna connect this, my USB-C drive. Switch out. Charlotte, my save. All right, I forgot to point out one more thing before I, I ended the record button. I know you guys are wondering, oh, why he, why he's not showing gameplay of it? Um, it's pretty simple. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, if I show gameplay, um, that part of the video is gonna get copyright claimed by Nintendo. So for me to avoid that, I basically have to show everything and explain it without showing gameplay. But if you guys have done this before or have a gist on how this works, it's pretty simple and easy um, to do that. I cannot show gameplay because each time I show gameplay, this has been an ongoing situation for years that Nintendo is just gonna claim the video. So for me to avoid that completely of the video game claim, I basically have to explain it thoroughly as possible I can. And basically hope you guys understand from that point of view because if I do show gameplay the video is just gonna get claimed and then half the tutorial is just messed up so I have to avoid showing gameplay and I have to explain thoroughly without showing gameplay so yeah just point that out there because I know there's gonna be some people in the comment section mentioning that so yeah peace out